दुष्यम रामीति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाल्मीकि कोकिल श्रीमते निगमांत महादेशिकाय नम राम Lakshmana and Sita were recipients of the unmatched hospitality of Guha in Shringi Veerapuram. Guha showered so much of love on them, and Rama was very gracious in accepting that love. That said, here we have Guha. who is now trying to ferry the three of them on the other side that is when he said rama i have heard that your foot touched the stone and she turned into a woman be very careful when you get inside my boat these are all the poetic ways of describing the inexplicable love that guha had for rama he again states rama i shall wash your feet give me the opportunity to wash that feet if you deny i don't mind even accepting lakshmana's arrow on my chest another soft way of telling please give me the opportunity because he was a hunter he had his own valorous way of talking and rama loved it pad kamal dhoi chadai nav nath na utarai chaho मोहि राम राउरी आनंद सरत सपत सब साची कहो वरुतीर मारहु लखनु पे जब लगी न पाई पखराही हो गिव मी दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी सो दिस इज वे द वे तुलसी दास इन अवधि इन रामचरित मानस ब्यूटीफुली पुट्स गुहास स्टेटस गुहास इंटरेस्ट गुहास इंक्लिनेशन इन राम भक्ति नाउ एट द कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द वाटर्स ऑफ गंगा and yamuna is a beautiful hermitage of bharadwaja bharadwaja ashramam dhan vinautau sukham gatva lambhamane diva kare ganga yamuna yamuna yo ho sandhau praptur nilayam munehe that muni's nilayam ashram was there see mostly in ramayanam be the earlier days of rama and balakandam and now when they are crossing ganga it is all about ganga there is only one reference to yamuna here the river ganga is what is largely spoken in ramayanam even at the beginning of balakandam we had gangotpati how bhagirata brought mother ganga to her so this is all about ganga you just shift to bhagavatam it is all about yamuna अनुषी परस्तपुण्यो भवेयम तट भुवि यमुनायादृशो वंशनल अभवतीमदानेसूनो आधरमणि समीपन्यासधन्यामवस्था धन्यामृतमृंदवन 
ಮಾಡು ತಿರೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಯಾದವರಾಯ ಯಾದವರಾಯ ವೃಂದಾವನದೊಳು ವೇಣು ನಾದವ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೀರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯಮುನಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗಂಗಾ ವೆನ್ ಎಟ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಗಂಗಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಯಮುನಾ ಆರ್ ಸೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಫ್ಲುಯೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಅಲಹಾಬಾದ್ ಪ್ರಾಚೀನ ಕಾಲ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರಯೋ ರೀಚ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ವಿ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಯೂ ರಾಮ ಸೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ಭರದ್ವಾಜಾಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಆಫರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ to the trio this is how indian hospitality is you always welcome the other person see this house is meant for you you don't have to immediately put the to transfer the name of your house to the other person you have to welcome that person make that person feel at home why didn't you call me and come why why didn't you tell you will come for eating this is not the way uncultured way that indians behave maybe that's a legacy of the british and the of the west but in the indian civilization you always welcome the uninformed guest too of course in the current day world it's always better to go to somebody's house informing them no denial but if there is a person who has come home suddenly you should be hospitable to them also that person doesn't inform the tithi of coming since he doesn't inform the tithi of coming he is called atithi he doesn't inform the tithi so this atithi devo bhava treat your uninformed guests is also god telling people why did you come to my house don't come this particular day we are busy we will not have this is not the way then what is the use of going to temples when you don't when you are not able to offer a morsel of food for your guests so bharadwaja was extremely hospitable rama denas thanks for your hospitality but i cannot stay with you see in the forest if you start creating your own joint family then what is the use of coming to the forest we would like to stay aloof guide us where we can stay ಏಕಾಂತೆ ಪಶ್ಯ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆಶ್ರಮಸ್ಥಾನ ಉತ್ತಮ ರಮತೆ ಯತ್ರ ವೈದೇಹಿ ಸುಖಾರ್ಹ ಜನಕಾತ್ಮಜ ವೇರ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸೀತಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈದೇಹಿ ಜಾನಕಿ ಮೈಥಿಲಿ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸೀತಾ ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಸೇಸ್ ಗೋಲಾಂಗೂಲಾನುಚರಿತೋ ವಾನರಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇವಿತ ಚಿತ್ರಕೂಟ ಇತಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಗಂಧಮಾಧನ ಸನ್ನಿಬ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಗಂಧಮಾಧನ ಪರ್ವತ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿವರ್ ಮಂದಾಕಿನಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಚಿತ್ರಕೂಟ ದೇರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮೆನ್ನಿ ಮಂಕೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿರಬಲ್ ಫೌನ go and stay there the tamil poet kamban also sings praise of chitrakuta he sings from tamil nadu i don't know if he has visited chitrakuta but he talks about chitrakuta as if he has lived there for many years vinni no kini dal given a choice to choose between swarga and chitrakuta many people will choose chitrakuta it seems vinni no kini dal tevar kai tholum chitra Oda, even the celestials will put their palms together looking at the beauty of Chitrakuta. So this admiration for nature, admiring nature and seeing everything around you as beautiful is something very peculiar to Sanatana Dharma. Music is not to be sung, it is a crime. Don't watch movies, it is a crime. Don't sing songs, it is a crime. Don't watch Natakas, it is a crime. This is a crime, that is a crime. You will immediately rot in hell, you have to be beheaded. This is not our civilization. Music is beautiful. Dance is beautiful. Watch plays, read books, have a nice time with your family. Live happily. Do bhakti to Bhagavad. Every positive civilization. So he says, you shall now go and live in chitrakuta now rama tells lakshmana see lakshmana even now we are now in madhya pradesh we have started from uttar pradesh even now if you feel that this journey is going to be very arduous very herculean please go back go live happily in 
Ayodhya, I will not think bad of you. Don't strain yourself. You are my dear brother. Ahame ko gamishyami sitaya sahadandakan anathaya hinathastvam kausalyaya bhavishyasi. Go take care of kausalya and other mothers. Why should you want to come with us, both of us in the forest? Now he is not ready to take the risk of telling Sita to go back. He has already had her, her share of wrath. So he is telling Lakshmana, you go back. Lakshmana tells in return, Rama, you must have seen aquariums, you must have seen places where fishes are nourished, nourished and nurtured. Though they may look stout, very healthy, you take that fish for a minute from the waters, it will suffer and die. However healthy the fish is, it needs a permanent association with water. Rama, I am like a fish. You are the water to me. If I am separated from you, the next minute I will die. If you want that to happen, I will go back to Ayodhya. Na jasita tvaya hina na chaham api raghava muhurtam api jivebo then Sita hints at Rama. She tells Rama, don't get into all such unwanted arguments. He is the one who has volunteered. Keep quiet. See, that may happen in many families. The husband will keep telling something which may be irritating to certain people. Then the wife will remind you, keep quiet. Don't keep telling the children about this. So, it's a similar human emotion what Valmiki projects. See, whenever I utter Ramayanam from my mouth, whenever I narrate Ramayanam, whenever you're listening to Ramayanam, you should feel very connected and feel very relatable to it. It is not something which has happened in Treta Yugam many years back, something which is not relatable and comprehensible to us. No. Imagine you are living during the times of Rama, you are seeing the husband and wife talking, the husband is telling the brother something, the wife tells the husband, keep quiet, he is happy coming with us, leave him, let him enjoy. So this is a normal conversation that happens in our house which Palmiki beautifully projects it and puts it on the canvas and gives it as shlokas. Then Sita wants to change the topic. She tells Rama, I see such beautiful trees and plants here. I have never seen that because Nepal has a different vegetation, Uttar Pradesh has a different one and Madhya Pradesh has a different one. Please tell me what is this tree? What is this herb? What is this shrub? What is this creeper? What is that climber? What is this fruit? What is that flower? She asks all these questions related to perfect botany to Rama. She is asking Rama, please explain Rama, what is this tree? This tree is so beautiful, what is this? She asks. Now the beauty is, in not her asking, Rama giving answer to every question. He says, this is the binomial nomenclature that is called by this name, this is called by this name. She wonders, where is this man so intelligent? From whom has he learnt all of this? Then slowly Rama tells Sita, look at those mountains. Those mountains are the places where huge elephants and birds stay. Matanga yutha nusrutam pakshi sanghanunanidam as he describes it, the trio, Rama, Sita and Lakshmana reach the ashramam of Valmiki. Sir, come again. Ashramam of Valmiki? Isn't Valmiki writing Ramayana? How the three of them reach Ra uh, Valmiki's ashramam? Very confusing, sir. We will untie the confusion in the next episode. Dear Astika reader, I am happy to be authoring a two-part book on the Ramayana in English. The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki, conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books. Namaskaram.